<laughs> what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel if you guys were here for the first video we posted well back a couple of months ago we were here at the beautiful bnb and we had just bought a paint sprayer we were painting it getting it ready you know just kind of getting it ready this airbnb she's got to get off the ground so we got something else to go on the bnb here today and what it is comfort total mini split air conditioner so this is a this is a split system unit. It is the absolute cheapest one you can buy on eBay for five hundred dollars. So it's twelve thousand BTU. We're gonna put it inside the BMB in there. We're gonna test it all out. We're gonna review it for you, and uh, we're just gonna give a good review on this thing. Get it all hooked up. See if we can't get it cooled down in there. So let's get this sucker open and see what we got. <music> Booger's heavy. He's a heavy little fella. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get it out here and check it all out uh, before we take it inside because in order to connect these lines up and stuff, we're going to have to put a vacuum on it because you get, you get any kind of air in these lines, there's going to be moisture and you get moisture in there, it's going to mix with the oil, it's going to make acid, it's going to it's going to burn up the compressor. So I brought my gauges to see if I can, you know, adapt to this thing. So that's what I'm going to be checking out now. I'm going to check out and see if my gauges and my vacuum pump is going to fit these lines. So I did have that little adapter right there. I'm hoping that's going to work so I could get my vacuum pump hooked up to this thing and get and just get the lines all sucked out. So hopefully that'll work. Or something like that. See, that's what I got in mind. All right, man. That thing is just, it's a light little booger. I mean, it's a little bit heavy, but it's a light little booger. And we want to see, if, you know, if y'all could put this in yourself, but we can put it in ourselves, then anybody can put it in theirself. I don't know nothing about hooking up a HVAC unit, you know. Um, I'm not certified in that stuff, but I do know how it all works because I've worked on so many cars over the years. So this should be about the same thing. So let me give y'all a quick peek at the B&B after we painted it all and got it all prettied up. Man, she is looking really, really good. We work really hard on this place and uh, we just gonna have to take a break from, you know, from working on the old Tacoma for a minute to come down here and finish this thing up. We're still kind of cleaning it up, getting it ready, putting some furniture in, but uh, it, it always had window units in for the air conditioner. So we'll try this split system, see how that works. If it works good on this floor, we'll get another one and put on the second floor. So we'll catch y'all back down here tomorrow and we'll get this sucker installed and get it all vacuumed down. We'll see if we can get it cooling. All right, it is another brand new day. We're back here at the old b, &B. I'm standing here beside this, uh, this lovely Comfort Total. Comfort Total, you know, I mean, it's got a nice ring to it. I think they maybe misspelled it, but who knows? You know, this is a cheap, cheap, cheap HVAC system. It's actually a heat pump, it heats too. We bought it off of eBay. $500, so uh, what we did is we got it all unboxed, and, and then I was tinkering with this thing here to make sure that I could get my vacuum pump working. So uh, 
we're all set, man. We're gonna get this sucker charged up today. We're gonna get it all evacuated out. We're gonna get it charged up today. That is the plan. Uh, we just come down here, um, just kind of got everything, got everything started. Um, this outdoor unit here, we'll talk more about this guy, uh, you know, as we as we move along. But let's jump inside and see what we got in all the boxes. All right, we just jumped in here. We got the evaporator inside, and you notice that uh, I took the screws out of it and took it apart because I really wanted to check it out and kind of see how, how everything worked. And I kind of had this idea. We got the 220 model, and uh, I was thinking about changing out this cable and then running it outside and connecting it up. I'm still going to run it outside and connect it up, but uh, I don't exactly know for sure if I'm going to change out the cable yet or not. So we're just going to we're just going to work on the electrical stuff. We'll have to go to the hardware store in a little bit. But if you look right here, here's the control board in this thing, which there's not a lot to it. I just snapped this cover off, um, and then there was one, two, three, four, like five screws in this thing that holds the cover on. So that was that. And inside the box, we also had, you know, basically a manual. And then this is the screws where I took them, where I took them apart. We got a remote, we got some batteries. And then, then some of this stuff is for the outside unit. They gave us some tape to kind of tape up the insulation, you know, some anchors and stuff. And then a surround to cover up the hole. That's about uh, that's about all that come with that, and then we'll grab the lines up here, and we'll we'll show you those. So these are the refrigerant lines that go from the condenser outside to the evaporator inside. So basically, probably the first thing we're going to do we'll roll these things out. They're supposed to be about 11 feet, and then we're going to we'll just stretch them out here. That's a high pressure. Here's the low pressure line. So. So both of them got some insulation already on them. We'll get the, we'll get both of these rolled out here. Easy, easy, easy. This little drain tube for all the condensation that accumulates. Uh, so I just poke through the wall, we'll tape it all together, let the water run out on the ground. And then we've got the cable that connects the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. So it's got Got like five wires. Easy, easy, easy. They'll hook up. They'll hook up right here. Just right there like that. There's a color code that we have to go by. But, you know, basically this this metal lug, I know is gonna be the ground. I don't even have to tell you. I don't, just looking at the wire, I can tell you that's the ground. So we got spade lug, spade lug, spade lug, and then that one's gonna be the ground. But we'll get into all that in just a minute. So, uh, I'm going to stick the cover back on this thing real quick, six screws back in there, and then we'll we'll show you how, how to take the bracket off the back and see if we can get our measurement, get our lines ready. We're going to put the thing on the wall right there, and then we'll hopefully get it done here. All right, I got that cover put back on. I took it apart. You know, you know how it is. People like to know how stuff ticks, right? So we just just took a peek in there to look at all that. Got it all snapped back together. Easy, easy, easy. Now I'm gonna run this wire, shoot it right up through the bottom, and I'm gonna hook it up right here. So let's just hop to it. Let's get it shoved up through there. All right, I just poked that wire right up through there. It was easy, easy, just, just zoom it right up through there. No problem whatsoever. And this this little cover, I took it off. It's just got a screw right here to right there. It just pops off. I'll show you the reverse of it when I put it back on. But we're gonna just, right here, we're just gonna match the colors. So uh, right here on the end of the unit, one is brown. So one is brown, one is brown, one is brown. So there's one, one is brown. So that's gonna go right here on number one. So they're one, two, three, four, five. So one is brown, two is blue, three is yellow green, 
So that's green with yellow strap. Four is gray, which it's got gray on it here, but the wire's really purple, it doesn't matter. I mean, the electrons don't know what color the wire is. And then five is black. So, so this is how it's gonna go. We're just gonna loosen these things up just a little bit. Scoot the spade up under there. Uh, the ground we're gonna have to take all the way off. So just be careful when you take that sucker off and don't drop it. So let's just hop to it. I think I'll probably put the two outside ones on first and then work my way to the middle. All right, we got that all wired up. That was easy, easy, easy. Just scoot it right under there. Get Make sure you get the wire under the clamp. That's that's the only thing, make sure the colors are right. That's easy. So now we're gonna take this, this plate off, which is what holds it to the wall. So it's got one screw in it right here. So we just zip this dude out. And then I think that we can probably press it right here. Press it right there. Look at that, she just snaps right off. So this will go on the wall like that. And then the unit I hang on it. So it's not real heavy and this is not a real heavy duty bracket. So uh, next thing we got to do is we got, you can see right here, here's our lines. These are our refrigerant lines and our drain lines. So we got to get those stretched out here and ready and lined up for our, to drill our hole. So we got to drill a three inch hole in the wall. Um, I think it said it's supposed to be like 80 millimeters. Um, three inch hole is like 76. So should work. Three inch should go. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna, gonna take these clamps right here and probably just ease them loose because we probably want our lines to go out, you know, on this side. So. So that's probably what we'll do. This clamp should pop right out. Look at that, just like that. So that's easy. And then here's our lines. We just gotta be, just gotta be careful when you bring them out because you don't want to bend them. You sure don't want to kink them. So we're going, to, we're going to look at this just a minute and kind of get our mind around where our hole's going to go, and then we'll be right back. All right, man, that went real good. We measured we measured this thing out, we found us a stud, we got it all marked off. Should be three and three quarters over to here where we drill our three inch hole. So we're hoping we don't hit a stud in there because that would be bad. But what do you do, man? If we do, we do. Uh, I got this, hey, y'all don't make fun of my hole saw now. Cause I got, I got some good hole saws. Look at that, I got some good ones. Only thing is, Two and a half inches big as I got. So I'm gonna dust off the old Harbor Freight hole saw kit. So we're gonna use three inch in this sucker to drill that big three inch hole. So wish us luck, man. Here we go. Man, golly bum, I can't believe that worked. I love it when a plan comes together. We measured that thing three, four times and uh, made sure we weren't gonna hit no studs. We are gonna come out where we wanted to. So you look at, look at that beautiful hole up there. So we put that little cover on to protect the lines and uh, now we're gonna go back inside. We're gonna grab that evaporator up. We're gonna scoop them lines right out that hole and hang it up on the wall where it's supposed to go. And then we're gonna get to work on the outside.
So right now, I'm using the vice grips to hold the inner one. I'm using crescent wrench to tighten the outer one because I left my other two crescent wrenches at that piece. So um, basically, should use two wrenches to hold it, but we're going to torque it down here and get it nice and tight. All right, so we did we did just temporarily get those lines formed the way we want them. So uh, what we're gonna do now is, like I said earlier, we've got we've got ambient air in our in our system. So that air's got moisture on it, moisture in with it, I should say. So what we're gonna do is I got my handy dandy yellow jacket vacuum pump, and uh, I use this thing on cars mostly, um, but the same thing it does the same thing so so i hope my gauge is up and what i'm going to do is going to turn the pump on then i open the blue valve which the blue valve goes to the blue hose which i've got going to the system the system right now is closed so there's no refrigerant in it at all we we just we just hooked it up so now we're going to get the moisture out so when i open this valve you'll see this gauge shoot this away so we're going to start pulling a vacuum on it then we're going to leave it for about 30 minutes um, run to town, I'm gonna get some electrical stuff to hook the electrical connections up. Maybe get us a burger or something too, get a little hungry. So, uh, so we'll, we're gonna turn it on. So let me, let me just kick this sucker on. I'll open that valve and I'll show you. So I'm fixing to kick it. And that's all we gotta do. We just gotta let it sit here. It's pulling that moisture out now. We can see we can see on the gauge on the yellow jacket that it's pulling it out. And we can see on our other gauges that it's pulling it out. So that's what we want. That's what we're after. We're just gonna get all that moisture out and then we'll close up these valves. We'll take our we'll, you know, we'll take our, our hoses off. And then, then we'll charge the system with the refrigerant. But right now, we gotta go get that electrical stuff, so we're gonna hop to it. Alrighty. Man, we went out to the old hardware store. We got some stuff. Man, I don't know if y'all know it or not, or not, but this wire is high. God, that stuff went up. But I got some conduit, got some LBs, got some stuff. We're gonna make these electrical connections up because we did get the 220 model. Uh, we wanted that. We So I'm gonna run a wire. I'm gonna use some flexible conduit to run around here and get this thing, get this thing wired up. So first thing we gotta do, we gotta jump back inside the house, make sure we got the outlet turned off. So we're gonna do that first, then we we'll check the bolts to make sure that it's off. And then we're gonna drill a hole, poke it through on the outside. And then I bought this LB. We're gonna stick that on the wall. We're gonna use flexible conduit. We're gonna go around, we're gonna get place plug this sucker up on the outside. Then uh, we got it all vacuumed down. We're ready to go with that. So everything is going really good so far with this install. I did pick up a few clamps that we can use to to make those to make those cables look a little bit better in those lines but that's what we're going to do now we're going to go in here we're going to get this electrical wire run first so let's jump to it
All right, man. Man, we've just been working away. Had a few, uh, a few interruptions. Not too bad, though. Uh, we've just been working away. We got that electric run all the way in here. I'm gonna go in here and hook it up now, but but we got us we got us our cable ran right here. Got everything looking good. We're gonna we're gonna check that up there for leaks once we charge the system. We still haven't charged it yet. It's just sitting there on vacuum. Everything got vacuumed down. So we're gonna go inside, make that connection, and then we're gonna charge this sucker up. All right, man, we got that thing all wired up. We got the 220 on it. Still got it all turned off, but right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these caps off right here. And then this guy is a five millimeter hex head, Allen wrench, whatever you wanna call it. That's what opens up the valves. That's all the refrigerant out of the compressor up in through the lines, and we're gonna check them off for leaks. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna open it up. Here, look at this. This is a Comfort Total infrared remote control. I'm gonna stick the batteries in. We check for leaks, everything's good. So we got everything wired up, it's 220. We got the breaker shut off. I think it's go time. All right, we just switched to 220 to this sucker. It beeped a little bit. But no fire flew from nothing it wasn't supposed to, so I'm about to hit the power button. I don't know what's going to happen. Check that out, man. There it comes. So we just uh, we just hit the power button, just turned it on for the first time. So we're just going to let it, um, from, from what I read in the manual, I think it's just got to acclimate itself and kind of get things going before it fires up the unit on the outside. So. Then as soon as that sucker comes on, we'll check back in, go around and film that and see what it sounds like. All right, man, while that's chilling out inside, it's getting real cold in there. We set it like on a Chris 72. We thought we'd walk out here and see what the outside unit sounded like. And man, you can just barely hear it out here. Like it's really, it's really moving the air. Like it's, it's blowing, you know, a lot of that heat away. It's quiet, nice and quiet. So, so far, so good. All right, man, that was a good job. It was a nice, good job for a Saturday. We stayed with it. We hung in there. We got it all going. Uh, you know, basically the, the remote it's just, uh, it's pretty basic, you know. I, I don't know everything about it, but it's pretty basic. But it's, it's cooling off nicely in here. It's just a huge difference, it's really quiet in here. And I've got it on the loudest, the highest speed. So that's really nice. I mean, it's just a really nice unit for $500. I just don't see how you can go wrong, you know. I mean, if you're looking for a cheap one, I don't know what the longevity of it's gonna be. I mean, you never know with anything you buy anymore, but but this thing is really cooled off the house. I think it's gonna be great. Uh, still got, I mean, when I went to the hardware store, I forgot to get the spray foam to foam it up on the outside. And, and I went ahead and I tied everything up out there. Everything looks good. Everything's all tidied up. Um, it pulls about five amps, um, which is which is not a lot. There again, like I say, it probably don't have the best uh, efficiency rating because it's it's not an inverter or anything like that. It's just when it's on, it's on. When it's off, it's off. And that's kind of how it goes. But we really like it. We think the install is super easy. I mean, it's super easy. It took us just a little bit longer because of the power. But all in all, I mean, we're going to give this thing two thumbs up. Cheap, cheap, cheap split unit from eBay. And uh, as always, you know, if we skipped over something, you got a specific question, just leave it down in the comments. We always check it. We'll get right back with you. If you like this video and it helped you out, give us a thumbs up because it helps us out. You know, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, we're out.